This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. This is what's left of the East Saddle Mountain Fire from the weekend. The Grant County Fair kicks off this week with free admission day on Tuesday. More than $8,000 has been donated to help Sydney Rivera accidentally shot by her husband and Sheriff's Deputy Jose Rivera. From the iFiber One Newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. This is what's left of the East Saddle Mountain fire from the weekend. The 17,000 acre fire is nearly out, but a few hot spots remain. What used to be an enjoyable landscape is now an eyesore to those living nearby. But the damage didn't stop there. A family of four is now homeless because of what the blaze did. The family's landlord not only lost his rental home, but a large portion of his auto business. An emotional Steve Heeb wonders if more could have been done to save his property. It, there's no justification for allowing it to come over here into a populated area, you know, and get into th this far away from where it originated from. But the damage could have been far worse. Fire officials say the flames were only feet away from these oil tankers, and quick action by fire crews prevented a possible explosion. Back at Othello High School, firefighters are resting up and being deployed in shifts to finish off what's left of the fire. Right now, the bulk of the resources are engaged up off of this West Coon Bench Road area. We do have some resources that are working along the backside of the fire just to finish uh, bringing it in. Crews are currently looking for any hidden hot spots and trees to prevent any further flare-ups. Officials are expecting full containment of the fire by midweek. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News. This segment is brought to you by... Life can get messy sometimes. Luckily, our active spray technology knows how to handle these everyday moments. By recirculating a concentrated blend of water and detergent, clothes are sprayed evenly for thorough saturation. So there's no need to pre-treat and every load comes out clean, no matter what the day may bring. Active spray technology from Whirlpool, now available at More Furniture in Afreda. The Grant County Fair kicks off this week with free admission day on Tuesday. The fair runs from Tuesday through Saturday with gates opening at 10 a.m. each day. The fair is open until 10 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday and until 11 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Daily admission is $8 for adults, $6 for ages 13 to 17 and seniors age 62 and up, $3 for children ages 8 to 12, and children 7 and under are free. The Davis Carnival is open from 2 p.m. to midnight Tuesday through Friday and noon until midnight on Saturday. The annual Demolition Derby is set for Wednesday with time trials beginning at 6.30 p.m. and the Derby starting at 7.30 p.m. in the Rodeo Arena. Tickets are $23 for main grandstand reserve seats, $18 for general seating, and $6 for children age 9 and under. The Moses Lake Roundup returns Thursday through Saturday with the rodeo pre-show at 6.30 p.m. and the rodeo starting at 7.30 p.m. General seating is $18, kids ages 7 to 9 are $6, and ages 6 and under are free. Other activities during the week include music and entertainment performances, agricultural exhibits, livestock competitions, arts and crafts exhibits, children's activities, food vendors, and more throughout the week. A complete list and schedule of fair events can be found online at gcfairgrounds.com. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. More than $8,000 has been donated to help with medical expenses for Sydney Rivera, accidentally shot by her husband and sheriff's deputy, Jose Rivera. A GoFundMe page has been set up for the Rivera family after Sydney Rivera suffered a gunshot wound August 9th at their home in Moses Lake. Police say Jose Rivera was handling a firearm when it fired, hitting Sydney in the arm and chest. Sydney Rivera was initially treated at Samaritan Hospital before she was flown to Harborview Medical Center in Seattle where she has undergone two surgeries, including open heart surgery to remove the bullet. The Central Basin investigative team continues to investigate the shooting. Both Jose and Sydney told police the shooting was accidental. 
Police have not released details on how Jose Rivera was handling the gun, but Captain Dave Sand said once the investigation is complete, a report will be sent to the prosecutor's office for review. Jose Rivera has worked for the Grant County Sheriff's Office as a patrol deputy since January of 2016. This is Joe Utter for i Fiber One News. Cooler this week, but the sun still shines. Hi, Jeff Slicky from the i Fiber One Weather Center taking a look at this week's basins forecast. About 80 for your Monday with clear skies and it's sunny all week long. Mid 80s for Tuesday and near 90 degrees on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, we're going to hover right around the upper 80s, low 90s into the weekend, mid 80s. Perfect weather for the Grant County Fair. Make sure you stop by the iFiber One Communications booth. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.